Welcome back everyone to Tech TLDR. I'm your host Kyle. Today we are talking about Starship upcoming news and the possible orbital flight that FCC and SpaceX have now unveiled to the public. We're going to talk about that. We're also talking about Starship SN15, what's been going on with that and what's going on next with it. Also China's Zurong rover is landing later today so we will talk, cover that as well and Blue Origin. We, we got to throw Blue Origin in there. So if you want to know everything, be sure you stick to the entire episode. Drop a like as always. Let's get right into this. Starship SN15, as we know, it successfully launched and landed. It was the first Starship to do so. Now, while there was minor damage, like the legs crumpled, which they were supposed to, but still you can't reuse those, and there was a methane leak, it was apparent that SpaceX and Elon Musk, they did want to try to fix and refly the SN15 and identify any problems within it. Since landing, the SN15 has actually been placed on a transport vehicle, which we talked about last episode, and we now know that SpaceX is actually looking to put it on Launchpad B for further inspection. Now, coming from Jack Byer, we see that due to inclement weather, SpaceX, they've yet to been able to actually lift this thing onto the pad, but I don't think it's going to be very long until we see the SN15 back on a pad, being inspected, and getting suited for hopefully another flight. It'd be really exciting to see the first Starship not only launch and land, but also do a refly and if it does it successfully and i'm curious do you guys think we're going to see sn15 refly before the sn16 or if sn16 will get its limelight before 15. next we got to talk about china which i know a lot of my audience don't get too excited about china and i can understand why but it's something we should definitely be talking about so china's zerong rover is expected to touch down on mars surface today about 11 p.m universal time which is roughly 4 p.m pacific time this was China's first piece of tech on Mars, and it's going to be looking to help us better understand the surface and geology of Mars, its magnetic field, and its climate and the atmosphere. China has yet to put anything on the surface of Mars, so this will be a big leap for their space agency. And again, although I'm from the United States and a lot of my audiences and really not the biggest fans of China, it's pretty much the United States' biggest enemy in a way, it's still exciting in my personal point of view to see the expansion of space and Mars in general, regardless of who the country is. I personally believe like all those on the back end making this happen have the best intentions. I don't see this as like a world conquering, space conquering, Mars conquering type of conspiracy, but to each his own, you have your own opinion. Now, next we have to talk about the possible Starship orbital launch with the Super Heavy coming up in maybe a few months. So I originally saw this tweet from Everyday Astronaut. He had tweeted that SpaceX and FCC unveiled plans for the Starship Super Heavy launch. And according to the details, the Starship is going to take off from the Texas base in Boca Chica. The booster stage will separate at approximately 170 seconds in a flight. The booster will then perform a partial return and land in the Gulf of Mexico, 20 miles from the shore. And it's yet to be confirmed if this is going to be an actual um drone ship landing or if it's just going to splash down in the ocean the starship itself will continue flying between the florida straits and will achieve orbit until performing a powered targeted landing approximately 62 miles off the northwest coast of Kauai. and a soft ocean landing Kauai, if you don't know is a little island that's part of hawaii they may also be using starlink for a part of this mission in order to communicate these are some of the flight images that they propose and the flight itself it's not going to have any cargo any passengers of course it's purely to test the entire setup of Starship and Super Heavy to see if they can successfully get this entire craft in orbit. So I'm I'm not really expecting them to be too concerned about even landing a Super Heavy booster. They'll probably try to land the Starship. Super Heavy, I doubt it. I doubt it's really their focus right now. They want to make sure the entire setup actually works as one cohesive piece and can get this thing into orbit. It's expected that the Starship of choice will be the SN20. However, the SN17 is still being built, so my guess is as good as mine. If you, What do you guys think? If it will be the SN17 that will be the one, the SN20 that will be the one, you let me know down below. Oh, and of course, Blue Origin. We, we gotta talk about Blue Origin, right? Not really. Uh, they put out another video teasing their upcoming launch of super rich people going into space, so if you want to participate in that and watch super rich people go into space or if you want to try to be a super rich person going into space, by all means, throw some money at the wall, see what happens. Anyways, guys, that's all I have for you in this episode. If you enjoyed it, be sure to drop a like and a comment. Subscribe if you're not already. Have a good one.